And let me tell you something, folks. I have collected a lot over the years. So what I have decided to do, if you told me that I would do this, if five years ago or even two years ago you told me I would ever do this, I'd say you're nuts. I am going to start culling my collection of vintage quilts. And I am going to post them on our website. They will be for sale on the website. I've already selected the first eight or ten that are going to go up. I'm going to have some pots. I'm going to have some nice quilts. And I'm going to have some fabulous quilts. And I'm going to start with most of the 1930s time period. Including in that might be a couple I have made from my reproduction 30s fabric but the majority of them are going to be quilts from the time period. And Brian's going to do all the photography, of course, on these. And our goal is sometime this Wednesday, he will start posting some of the pictures on our website, where you go buy the pattern, where you buy the fabric, on the kengland.com site you would be able to preview quilts that will go up for sale. They will all post live to purchase at noon on Saturday. We've tried to figure out a fair way to do this so that they didn't all show up at one time and then you wanted one and six people wanted one and then somebody's mad and they didn't get it and of course it, I don't want to get into a bidding thing. I don't want to do anything along those um, that avenue. So we determined that the wise thing to do would be for Brian to photograph these. And we're going to try to do detail. If it's got a soil spot, I'm going to mention that. If it's got some tears, I'm going to mention it. And all of that will be uh, influenced by the price. So if it is something, I'm not going to, I don't own any that are like totally cutter quilts. Everything is pretty pristine in my 1930s collection, but there are some exceptions. So he's going to start doing some, some photography, and I think I'm going to do about 8 or 10 max to start with. Once we see the reaction, I have about 40 pulled so far that I am willing to let go of. I'm going to get into my 19th century quilts depending on the interest. Um, and so what we're going to do is post these, and Brian and I have talked about how to cover, like you can't put this in your, um, oh God, what's that place? Card. They're cards. See? Well, 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 so, yeah, one person asked what question whether or not to say any of these will have been made by you. Yes, there's going to be some that will be made by me, though, and I will cite the difference. But once you put them in your card, you're only going to have a limited amount of time before it will come out of the cart. So you can't put it in your cart on a Saturday and decide to buy it on a Wednesday. It won't be there. And it's not to be um, pushy and bullheaded. It is to allow everyone the same opportunity to, to purchase these because they are one of a kind. Now I have in this first batch, I've got a little table runner that I made. I've got a, a one or two small quilts. But mostly, this is going to be vintage quilt, antique, 1930s now. And I pulled one real fun top. So I've got a pretty decent collection of tops. So for those of you who are new into long arm quilting or just beginning your quilting, those are great opportunities to jump on and be able to practice your quilting skills. But mostly, it's going to be things that I have collected and owned for, oh gosh, well over, most of these quilts I've owned well over 20 years and some 30 and 40 years. Um, I'm real possessive. I had, <laughs> just for fun, I had an entire room in my home that was dedicated to 1930s quilts. The room was decorated around 1930s quilts. There was always a 30s quilt on the bed, at the bed covering, at the foot of the bed, on the chair. And if you open the closet door in that bedroom, there's about another 30 or 40 1930s quilts. I, see, but I've been staying home all this time. I redid the room. Now it's not 1930s anymore, and I'm sitting on all these quilts. So, yeah, Brian's showing those two right there. I just pulled two just to give you a little glimpse. Now, I've got a Dresden plate. I have got a... Um, 
oh gosh, I've got a couple, a star, a few things like that. Because in that time period, there were lots of grandmother's flower gardens and Dresden plates and more simplistic quilts. So I've pulled some of those and I'm gonna to try to have a lot of different price points. I'm gonna have some quilts that might be 40 or $50 and I'm gonna to try to keep, I'm not gonna put my 19th century quilts up now because some of those are quite valuable and quite collectible. And I'll do my best to detail all the information, but this is not something that is up for debate. Once you, it's kind of like once you buy a prize, it's yours to keep. So be very detailed, and, and Brian's going to try to do the photography in such a manner that you'll really be able to determine how this is going to work. And we're going to pay the shipping to get it to you. 